Hey guys, it's me, Smartech right here, and today I'm going to show you how to down OTA downgrade to iOS 8.4.1. Now, as you can see, this is here my iPad, and we must first jailbreak it. This is a computer version. If you would like a computer version, this is a computer version. So you need to do is first go on to Safari. Now, this, by the way, guys, this works on iOS 5. Uh, I mean iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPad 2, 3 and 4. These are the only devices that are supported. If you are if you if you um if you are iOS 10.3, the link will be in the description below to download the jailbreak. Mine is iOS 9.3.5. So I'm going to launch Phoenix Jailbreak. So I'm going to get Phoenix Jailbreak. And once I have got the Phoenix Phoenix jailbreak, I'll just click on direct download and I'll click on install. I will go to the back to home. Should start downloading Phoenix. There we go. Now this will download the Phoenix jailbreak. I'm actually going to unplug my device because um for some reason, for me, it doesn't let Phoenix jailbreak it. Actually, it will always crash. As you can see, guys, now Phoenix, the Phoenix jailbreak has been installed, as you can see. But it will come with this unt untrusted enterprise developer. If you do get this, you click on cancel, you go on to settings. You scroll down to you find general, scroll down to you find device management, click on the enterprise app and click the trust. Now yours will be definitely different, it will not be Ganhan, Ganhu, Raibu, Network, Technology and stuff like that. So I'm going to launch and I'm going now to jailbreak you. Okay then. Do keep in mind that this is only iOS, I mean iPhone 4S and iPad 2 downgrade. This is only available for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. Just remember that because, yeah, this is because this is the computer version. If you want to do it differently, you can use the computer version. That's what I'm gonna do because I kind of forgot about it. So, yeah, so I bet most likely. You, this will be an iOS 9.3.5 downgrade uh, like to 8.4.1 this is only for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 if you've got one laying around the iPhone 5, 4S and the iPad 2s and all of that stuff are in my previous videos so yeah as you can see guys now you need to be on your iPad and you need to search for open SSH this is again for only iOS, I mean iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. So basically, literally how you should do it. So yeah. Now once you have done that, you'll just... Now you have to get behind, which is in the link description below. And iOS 6.1.3 IPSW. If your iPhone iPad is already running iOS 6.1.3, then you just go into your software update and you should get 8.4.1. Once you have Behind downloaded, as you can see, um, you need to get the IPSW. This is the iCloud bypass. This is jailbreak, and you do that, it will say choose, and then you click build IPSW and all of that stuff we need to do now we need to go to k loader mode you once you did your build ipsw it should already like do with the custom ibss but because i need to do it um behind shsh no nope, not behind shsh I think. oh it was that one it was k loader and I need the IMG3. It should already be like in this. And 
we'll just click enter pawn d of u. So it says make sure it has open SSH installed and click enter pawn d of u mode. If you get one of them errors, then you just click OK and you need to maybe maybe get the IP Wi-Fi's device's IP address and then try it again. So all you need to do for this, you have to click on settings. And basically you have to go onto Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi, and you press the I button. The blue I button, as you can see. That button. If this guy pops up, then just click OK. As you can see guys, it says... If it says that um, it, it hasn't detected an uh, iPhone um, or iPad in DFU mode, just unplug it, replug it, and pre press OK then. If it just shows that, and if it doesn't connect to your you mode, you just need to unplug it and plug it back again. Yeah, guys. Okay. Now, for me, I need to do the IPSW. For you, I don't think so, but if it asks you, just get the IPSW. And I'll click restore. As you can see, guys, right now that's the only thing, and you should see a behind logo, or with a B logo, and it should be restoring. It's good. So as you can see guys the restore has been finished and right now as you can see I pull up the camera and the face down which do You can see that this has booted up. See iPad. I'm going to just set it up. So as you can see guys, we are now in our device and all we can do now the last thing we can go to general about and as you can see 6.1.3 and then we go to our software update and as you can see 8.4.1 now click download and install and install everything and this should not require anything anything to erase it just you update it and that's it and that's it so yeah guys hope you've um I hope you watched this video uh, all the way through. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you later.